Hey everyone and welcome back to CK2 The Reapers Do. Now my first episode I wasn't really sure if I was going to actually do a full series of this but I've just finished my EU4 campaign so I feel like I definitely have time to do something and I've been actually I've been enjoying the first episode so far and it seems as though you guys do as well so I decided we're just going to continue this for a little bit. Still I don't know if it's going to be a full full series but it definitely will continue at least for now. Now in the last episode I actually left off with my event uh, concerning the uh, plague and uh, I have actually decided to go with the experimental method so the one that has not been proven but that might actually have a better success chance I mean here's the thing we're gonna most likely die anyways for some reason I was actually not able to shut the gates people have been telling me in the comment section but you know I forgot about this why well, didn't actually forget about this because there should have been a pop-up but there never was one because I was apparently I was busy doing something it says busy with feasting hunting travel or other special activities I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing um, I, I simply don't remember M might be a feast but yeah, um, so that's kind of annoying. So we have the plague now. I don't think at this point it makes any difference if we shut the gates or not. So yeah, there's that. I am currently actually um, improving uh, Constantinople here. And I have started building a hospital. But yeah, that's obviously not going to finish in time. So we are royally screwed. I should have definitely built that up faster. But oh well, there's there's that. But yeah, let's uh, I, I guess go forward and see how things are turning out. Uh, we do need a new commander, but oh well. That's actually... No, let's go a little bit slower. There you go. Um, okay, so our uh, physician and my friend uh, buckled the last strap, securing you on the operating table. I will not lie to you, my lord. This will be excruciatingly painful, but it must be done. You tried to protest when Ioannis brought out the saw, but due to the calming potion he had made you drink, you slurred the words beyond comprehension. Okay, so the treatment was successful, but I paid a heavy price. Oh, really? Okay, so you will be cured of your disease. So I hope that this is not the food poisoning. I hope that this is actually the plague. And I hope that we don't die of the food poisoning afterwards. But we'll see. So we um, gained a trait severely injured and one-legged. So he cut off one of our feet or legs. That's interesting. But it did apparently work. Yeah, look at that. We are no longer... We no longer have the plague. So that's cool. The re re carousing is over. Okay, so that was... It was him! It was his carousing that got the plague into our realm. That's terrible. Well, it was fun, but it kind of cost the life of my wife. So, you know, there's that. Anyway, uh, now we can actually shut the gates, and we might as well do that, right? So, there we go. Let's do it. Uh, some commoners have already gathered outside as your guards start closing the gates. A decisive, decisive thump silences the curious chatter coming from the other side. So, I feel like we just shot someone with a crossbow. That's what it sounds like. But yeah, we're going to see this for now. We'll see if that really does anything. I mean, might be that my kids already... No, my kids are actually safe. Very good. So I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll survive. And we'll just have to wait until the epidemic is over. So yeah, awesome. We survived <laughs> by uh, losing a leg. But that's fine. Nice. So we have actually an extra learning. I don't know where that is coming from. But okay. A missing like a real disability when it comes to the battlefield or chasing youngsters. Yeah, but okay. Um, there is a peasant revolt. Okay, wow. The peasants, the peasants are quick with uh, rising up here because of the, the plague. Um, I guess that does make sense. Yeah, they have the plague there as well. Well, that means we're going to have to send... Actually, you know what? I'm going to send my friend to deal with this. He's actually secluded uh, within his own court. I see he's not ill himself. He is... Malay, Malays, I don't know what that is. He just doesn't feel well. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and raise some men. 5,000, I hope I'm not in command myself. Who can I put in command? My captain of the Ranjin God. Sure, sure, <laughs> yeah. The poor lad, the poor Ranjin God that is always, you know, uh, protecting us. Yep, we're gonna send them out. And, uh, you know, we have them right through the plague. And look at this, there's Bulgaria fighting, I believe, the Ottomans. Or something like that. That's possible. Saruhan and the Ottomans, yes. Um, my court physician is suffering from the current epidemic. Having him stay with the rest of you inside these walls puts you at risk. My... Uh, okay, this guy. Yeah, so it's too late to throw him out. Help him any way you can. We'll be treated. Um, you know what? Excellent symptom treat. You know what? Yeah, we'll treat, treat him. Come on, you help me. You can help him as well. And... 
one of my courtiers has actually died. That's... or oh, my marshal died. Now, that's very bad. Let's see if we can appoint a new one. Um, Protostrator. Yes, my captain of the Rangian Guard, although I probably... Because you're kind of busy right now. I'm... You know, I'll, I'll appoint you, but I will not... Uh, yeah, I will not let you do anything at the moment. Good. Alright, these forces should be enough to deal with our enemies. 3,000. It's actually... We only have a couple more men, and this is hills. So it could be very, very difficult to do, but we'll see. And look at this, Bulgaria is holding its own against the Ottomans. I'm surprised. Wow, very good job. Sultan Ibrahim. No, you are King Ivan. Yeah, I see. 26% in favor of, of King Ibrahim. Ah, uh, damn it. King, what's his name? Ivan. There we go. Uh, let's see uh, how much the plague has spread. Oh, yeah, it's in Venice now. Venice, the menace. Uh, all of Italy almost spread. The papacy... Wow, this is amazing. Um, it really came through Mo Mongolia and then their Persian holdings. And there's another... Okay, there's another thing going on. Another carousing. But we are still secluded. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just happy that we survived the plague by cutting off our leg. Um, oh my, come on. We're fighting again? Ah. Uh, okay, yeah. We call it a draw. I don't know why we keep fighting. This is just ridiculous. How often has this happened now? I don't remember. Okay, let's get our troops together. Um, I think you should be the center and we should get some new commanders. Yes. So let's go ahead and we can actually pick a lot of them. What happened to him? No, that's not him. I don't know. He has something weird going on. He has a fever and cramps. Yeah, he's gonna die soon. It doesn't matter. We're gonna kill him. Actually, is that my... That's my bishop. Okay, yeah. And my court chaplain has died. Oh, uh, that's... Well, yeah, he was he was being treated, but apparently it didn't actually work. You couldn't save him, but he could save me. All right, can you stop your carousing, please? Because that's really getting kind of annoying. I might have to say that I don't want to attend because... Well, it, it's, it's getting annoying, I have to admit. All right, these guys are actually not, not even able to siege this down. They're not even able to siege it. You know what? I, why do I even bother? How many men does this guy have? 1,200. You know what? I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna do anything. Why are you here? Are these mercenaries? Where are these guys coming from? Do I own this land? I mean, I must be. Can I stand you down? I can. That's very strange. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to fight you. Um, although, no, I want this war to be over. That's fine. Send them here. Destroy them. I do need a new uh, guy, I see. Yeah. Oh, you have the plague, I see. Well, then this guy, because you're going to die anyway. Nice. Destroy him quickly. Now, one thing I should mention that uh, I haven't mentioned before is, um, obviously, because I um, because I started this, this Let's Play in between, I didn't, you know, start right from the beginning, I couldn't actually go over the options in the beginning, because... Um, I'm sure you're aware of this, actually. Uh, with the new Reapers uh, do DLC and the patch, you get the ability or you have the ability to choose certain game options uh, when you start out the game. And um, I have actually left everything on default, but one thing I have changed, and that is the um, plot button or the, the assassinations, I should say, because there used to be an assassination button. Now, I'm not sure. Maybe I've said that in the first episode, but I don't think so. In any case, I'm gonna re repeat myself here. Um, there was, there used to be a, uh, oh, nice, we're no longer injured. Um, there used to be a assassination button where you, um, instead of, you know, having these stupid plots where you had to invite all kinds of people, you could simply press a button, pay some money, and therefore, you know, had a percentage of killing a person. And that actually... Well, the problem was, you could abuse that. You could save up a whole lot of money, and especially claim wars were much easier fought by just spamming that button, killing the, the person with the claim, and then, you know, the war would be over. Also, you could obviously very easily get your family on a throne because you could simply spam that button and that person, uh, the person you wanted dead, would die sooner rather than later. So, um, yeah, obviously that uh, I understand why Paradox, um, you know, tried to change that. Uh, we're actually going to pray Our Lady for guidance. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, so yeah, I can totally understand why Paradox limited it, but there's one, there's one part where I think it's it's 
incredibly important. And that is, uh, we're actually going to talk about this after this event. So the Persia, rav Persia is ravaged by a plague. The trade routes of the east have become less traveled as reports of the plague spreading in the Persian expanse have increased in frequency. Entire villages are gone from the world of the living, disregarding the wealth and good harvests the area was enjoying. The reality is stark as death continues to spread and despair paves its road. When will it end? So yeah, let's have a quick look at the Black Death again. Oh wow, it even reached... Iberia now. It has not yet, it has reached parts of France, but they also are experiencing some camp fever. And um, we, we have also camp fever over here, but yeah, it it's definitely has its grip over Italy and obviously uh, the Middle East and Persia, as well as Anatolia and Greece. We've been hit very hard as well. Uh, the craft that we funded, however, have been very successful, so we have more prosperity. Even though the plague, we have more prosperity. 700 gold, I like it. The camp fever seems to be very bad as well. And we get more stewardship. Okay, so our thing is paying off. I like that. Um, I suppose I could... We have minor depopulation. Uh, disease resistance. This county has been depopulated to a minor extent as a result of an epidemic. Oh, I see. This county will populate, repopulate quickly. Uh, okay, so we have a level 1 hospital now. I guess we could continue. We can build a sick house. Yes, let's do that. Let's actually build a sick house since we have the money for that. And, um, yeah, as I was saying with the assassination plot. So, there's one reason, though, why I want to have this assassination plot. Because, first of all, I'm actually a person that can, you know, limit themselves through roleplay. So, I won't abuse that button. But, uh, I've often, you know, had... I often played as a tyrant character, as kind of a cruel, sneaky character. And, you know, at the beginning, I was able to, you know, use the plots due to my high intrigue. I was able to get people to join my plot and, you know, kill others. But, you know, if you discover, if you get discovered once or twice, you start, you know, increasing your, your bad traits. Or you, you, you gain your dishonorable traits, you gain uh, tyranny sometimes. And then it becomes very difficult to get people to join you in a faction if you want to kill someone. Even if that person wants to see you dead. And therefore I find this button to just, you know, hire some goon um, for money to assassinate very, very good. Because, you know, at some point you're just so hated by everyone, no one wants to join your plot to kill someone else. And while that might make sense in a way, it also doesn't. Because as I said, there's always someone that you can, you can pay who will uh, just kill someone for you. So, yeah, that's why I have that turned on. Everything else I have left on, um, everything else I have left on default. But yeah, the peasants in my realm are becoming convinced that Jews are behind the recent epidemic. I'm under increasing pressure from some to condemn the Jews and from others to protect them. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I've actually been thinking about condemning the Jews myself, and I tell you why. Because look at this. Well, first of all, we're a cruel person, so we, we like... Uh, that others are taking, uh, the, well, that, that suffer, but also very rough. So we are not really a kind guy, and we're also greedy. So here's what we can do. We can actually go ahead and uh, borrow money from the Jews, 300 gold, and then expel the jury for uh, even more money. And that's going to be awesome. So something must be done. Um, civil unrest. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. Borrow money from the Jews and expel the Jews. Something must be done. We'll, we'll say that first. Um, revolt risk and local tax goes down. Oh, wow. That's actually a lot. Well, there you go. Blame it on the Jews. Um, Asia Minor is ravaged. Ooh, the atmosphere at court has grown tense. As word of the plague raging in Asia Minor has reached you to further disturb the people as story... To further disturb the people as story is circulating. Survivors speak of a cursed ship carrying living corpses come to recruit for the captain of death. The myth is lent more credibility each time a coastal city succumbs to the epidemic. Oh, I like these events. They're very cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and expel the jury because we have a scapegoat, the Jews, as always. Um, and uh, yeah, our people believe that. So we should, you know, take care of that or we should use that to our advantage. And since we are a greedy person, I feel like this actually does make a whole lot of sense. So yeah, we have decided to expel all Jews from our realm. And after our guards ran up the jury, uh, they are forced to depart in yet another large exodus for lands more friendly to their kind. They are allowed to keep many of their belongings, but you confiscate much of their gold. It shall go to the crown. Yes. Alright, so all of a sudden we have tons of money, and we're obviously going to have to invest that. I don't even know. It, 
you know, as someone who likes to see others suffer, I don't even think that we should continue building our building our hospital. Although it will help us as well, I suppose. But yeah, let's go ahead and actually build up the castle town because that means more tax. And then we can go and build up our keep as well. But yeah, having some money is also very nice. Um, I must actually ensure the safety of the Jews. Ooh, so um, I have heard the, of the trouble in the Byzantine Empire. I must ask that you are Oh, well, sorry, bro. I've already kind of expelled them. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think he might actually be pissed about this. He wants to see it on the council. That's everything he really cares about. He doesn't really care about the Jews at all. So, all right, whatever. Uh, we can, however, appoint someone new on our council. Actually, um, Ecumenical Patriarch Johannes has made it clear he does not want the Jews to be blamed for these diseases, but not everyone is listening to him. I still need to decide what to do. No, the Jews are not to blame. The Jews did this. Expel them. Yes, we will do that. We gain yet even more gold. Oh my god, even more. <laughs> so, you know, I guess we had like a... We expelled them secretly, and now we're doing it officially. And uh, we're gonna get another uh, 44 uh, gold. We will lose prestige for that though, but these modifiers will be uh, will be removed. Awesome. So that means more money for us. You have decided to expel the Jews? Yes, uh, I have. Twice now. And what are these tombs? Oh, that's because... No hospital in this country. Oh, we have no hospital here. Minor depopulation. We do have a hospital here. Hmm, I see. Well, I don't think I will really do much. Funny thing is, there's still... I think there's still the crusade going on right now. That's ridiculous. Like, right now, where the, the, the Black Death is hitting, we're fighting a crusade. I mean, I'm not, but some people are. The Middle East is ravaged by plague. An ominous shadow looms over the regions of the Middle East as the plague has left little but tragedy in its wake. The reports are scarce, but upon hearing the tales of lone refugees walking the roads, often the sole survivor of a family, the hearts of many are torn as to why God would allow this to happen. Oh God. So the Middle East is this. We had Persia. We had... Um, I forgot what the other region was, but... Uh, it has not reached... We have not gotten an event for Greece yet, I don't think. Uh, let me quickly check this out. Yeah, they have significant depopulation. Okay, so it has not reached Armenia yet, neither Anatolia. Okay, so so far, things are okay. Alright. Loud complaints have become less frequent. Instead, an unbearable stench is now coming from the other side of the wall. It appears that... As a way of showing disapproval, commoners have started leaving all their dead in a big pile just outside the gates. Guards, get rid of the smell. Yes. Uh, oh. We cannot risk infection. Get rid of the smell. Yeah, no, I think we need to get rid of this. Although it's outside. Ah, that's bad. Oh my god. Do I want to get rid of this? I want to get rid of the smell, though. Yeah. No, no, no. Ah, damn it, disgusted. We cannot risk infection. That seems like the smarter idea. It seems like the smarter idea. But honestly, I kind of want this to go away. This is probably the wrong... It's. You know what, we have been cured before. I think we're we're immune. I don't know if we can be immune, but I'm just saying this right now. Anyways, I do want to give uh, this advisor title to this guy, since he is actually rather annoyed by the fact that I have expelled the Jews. So this might, you know, make him more happy. And we also have... Hmm, I guess we'll make him an advisor. There you go. Enjoy. Uh, he actually likes me quite a bit. He does not have any food. Oh, really? Well, that's bad for you. Not that I really care. Um, let's have a quick look, though, at the uh, Patriarch. Yeah, he just died. The Archimanical Patriarch has just died, I believe. Yep, of the dreaded plague. There we go. Yep, that was to be expected. And he's no longer our advisor. Well, there you go. I told you it was the Jews. He wouldn't believe me. He probably had some Jews uh, at home. He was uh, keeping them busy or something. I don't know. Uh, not busy. He was giving them uh, a place to rest and stuff. Anyway, um, let's have a quick look at the uh, Black Death again. Oh, wow. All of France. Even, even England has now been reached. And all of Iberia. Holy balls. Although, there's some places... That are not affected. Oh, so it actually... It did not affect these... Ah, oh, interesting. So it doesn't affect every... Every... Uh, I guess... 
province. Interestingly enough, Crimea has not been reached because it, historically, this was actually where the plague, um, I guess, really became an ex a, a bad epidemic or really a, a worse epidemic. Well, it became as worse as, as it could get, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I'm not really making sense here, but basically, this is where it all started. Um, I mean, it did start in Mongolia, but this is where it really became a big problem when uh, some of the, um, I guess, Mongols sieged a city in Crimea. And during that siege, they were throwing, I think, piles of dead bodies over the walls, and that's where it really, uh, you know, spread. And then it spread into Europe. So it's interesting to see that they are not actually affected. But yeah, let's uh, quickly finish off with this event. Pilgrims pass through the hospital in Constantinople all the time. But word has reached you that one of them has stayed at the hospital for several days. Tending to the sick and wounded and assisting anyone who is in need of help. They say that he is a very skilled physician and might be of good use. Um, I Do I not have a position? I do have one. My friend still. Yeah. And I guess... You guys, I need you to suppress the revolts. Although they're not any, they're not any revolts. Research military attack while you're at it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, bring this man before me. So that means he's actually not that much better. He is a monk. He's a pilgrim as well. I have a physician already. Yeah, he, he has saved my life. So I don't think I need another one. And he actually just died. <laughs> Vanished without a trace. Oh, maybe he was some kind of spirit. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna have to end this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.